Hello everyone. Today, as uh, Zephyr mentioned, uh, we'll be talking about the new Salesforce uh, reference reference architecture. Uh, so, um, what is um, the new SFRA? Um, as the name suggests, it's a reference architecture. It's a boilerplate that combines um, some of industry's best practices and expected out of the box commerce functionality in a single web storefront, and it can serve as a foundation for your new Salesforce B two C site think of SFRA as an accelerator for your you know salesforce b2c project and as a tool that enables you to launch on the platform in a shorter time frame and, and at a much lower cost some of the main things that uh, they have uh, uh, you know revamped in uh, uh, sfra is mainly concerning the mobile aspect of it if you remember the old uh, site genesis demo store it had a very bad mobile experience so Salesforce took upon itself to study the existing commerce cloud or you know the erstwhile uh, demand based sites. They went back to the drawing board to re redesign the whole site from ground up. The result was the most up to date, feature filled, fully responsive storefront design, providing an optimized shopping experience in screens of all sizes. Some of the highlights include a you know a persistent search bar which is easily accessible across the pages, and on the product display pages, Salesforce focused on highlighting the critical shopping actions and reducing some extra noise. The product descriptions are collapsible, you know, some of the small things, but they do make a lot of difference, including, you know, the add to cart and Apple Pay buttons are persistent as you just call up and down the page. If you're using Apple Pay, in fact, you can instantly check out. Some customers are already seeing increased conversions because of this. The other aspect is where um, uh, you know Salesforce and the demand where team worked on uh, including the checkout experience. The checkout process is often one of the biggest pain points for mobile users. It has been observed in numerous analytical reports that most users browse on the mobile and move to the desktop for final purchase. That is if they decide to purchase. Keeping this in mind, SFRA offers an accordion style one page checkout for shoppers to reduce the number of clicks and create a seamless experience. Also note that it's fully responsive. This is a screenshot from you know, our custom uh, implementation of the Safari store, what you see on the slide. So what all this leads to is uh, actually, um, so Safari is based on you know, uh, MVC architecture where your custom extensions can be stocked on top of another, which means developers can code outside the core code base and independently plug them into the storefront. This architecture supports plug and play style, which makes implementing new features easier. All of this leads to reduce total cost of ownership and improves your time to market. We'll do, uh, uh, let's look at how the architecture has been overhauled uh, in the new SFRA. They, they have a, a completely upgraded tech stack in the new architecture. Uh, Let's start from you know, the mobile first approach that they have. Safari is built on Bootstrap 4. As most of you already know, Bootstrap is an open source front end framework created by the Twitter, Twitter designer developers, mainly for the responsive design. It offers a simple way to create and design web layouts while offering a wide range of interface components such as forms, templates, accordions, etc. Whether you want to change an image carousal or a responsive form which changes width or mobile. And desktop use, Bootstrap can do it all. Bootstrap follows a mobile first design approach, which has been the trend for mobile development in recent years. Bootstrap plays a key role in SFRA's front end design and layout. Bootstrap is installed using NPM as the package manager. From a business standpoint, it makes sense to use one of the most popular and efficient front end web design frameworks, and that's why Salesforce went ahead using Bootstrap 4, which is pretty common, but it's also the most tried and tested framework out there. With the number of third-party plugins and extensions, Bootstrap is also one of the most flexible and customizable front-end frameworks. In addition, it also has a small learning curve with multiple guides and online resources. On the client side, jQuery is the tried and tested uh, uh, JavaScript language that SFRA uses. Coming to the next aspect, um, Safari is based on the industry standard and VC design pattern. In the old incumbent store, uh, uh, the site Genesis store, um, um, it was based on a loosely 
hub based uh, mvc pattern the view templates were interlaced with business logic models could not handle all the data and logic and etc it had a couple of problems like that while in the new architecture salesforce has removed all of the business logic from templates moved them to models models represent data and controllers as they should and controllers route the flows and create models and insert views each component is designed uh, is doing what it's designed to be doing mvc pattern also being a standard across e-commerce platforms you have greater access to resource pool in the market folks coming from other e-commerce platforms can easily adopt to this architecture and start delivering we all know that's one of the pain points in this new salesforce uh, uh, sphere lack of you know, access to the uh, resources you can build modular applications do parallel development and you know better man man management which helps you to adhere to your agile practices another aspect key aspect is the way uh, you know javascript is used uh, in the new token reference architecture salesforce replaced their uh, back in business logic code from the proprietary pipelines which basically kind of converted to xmls to javascript based controllers controllers are written in javascript and you know salesforce b2c commerce script um, the only caveat is that they must conform to the common js model standard which is actually a good thing most uh, key aspect you know about uh, the new architecture is the way you can extend or you know create your custom store out of this so safari has been react architecture to keep the platform more in line with the traditional mvc framework and provide for greater extensibility and compatibility with the future upgrades this structure provides developers some modular separation of core references features merchant customizations and integration cartridges enabling developers to add functionalities without modifying the core uh, core architecture base the storefront basically comprises of a stack of cartridges as you know shown above and each is built independently the base layer the base layer consists of the core store functionality or cartridge uh, we call it as the app storefront base sfra has packaged their whole out of the box solution in one cartridge and whenever they need to push an upgrade uh, sfra pushes updates only to this cartridge and please note that salesforce provides eight to nine releases every year so they keep revamping their core uh, uh, quite frequently throughout the year then we have um, on top of that we have a layer of plugin cartridges they have some additional base functionalities some of these functionalities were taken out of site genesis because the um, sales was thought not all the functionalities are used by all customers you know such as pick up in store or product compare you can add these uh, plugin functionalities pretty easily and uh, um, use those feature uh, the way you want it and then you have a layer of link cartridges you know for the cartridges that you get from the link marketplace for all your third party integrations like payment tax and uh, uh, other third party integrations like reviews and then you have a layer of custom uh, uh, cartridge where you are uh, site branding or the way your site look and feel and the layout or those changes can go into we have a demo store built on the similar lines and which i'll be showcasing towards the end of the webinar Another aspect which was uh, uh, which uh, Salesforce uh, work uh, improved is the testability of your code. Mostly, um, as far as I'm aware, many e-commerce platforms do not provide this feature. So, in the SFRA, uh, testing components are automatically installed when you set up the uh, SFRA store. Uh, uh, since most of the code in SFRA is in the part of controllers, models, or the views, what we showed. So we can test your individual controllers uh, with, you know, with using integration tests. Models can be tested using some unit tests, which are the box uh, Salesforce provides, and views are, can also be used using uh, functional tests. As you can see, uh, Mocha and Chai are used uh, predominantly in most of this unit testing scenarios. So with all of this um, architecture overhaul, uh, what really changed for developers? Um, uh, mainly, it was the move from you know uh, pipelines to the JavaScript-based controllers, uh, which now means um, the developers need to code all of their business logic in JavaScript, uh, write equal and methods um, corresponding to the pipelines and the uh, pipeline flows. So, which which is actually a good thing, um, uh, considering JavaScript is a, an easy skill set to uh, ramp up and uh, start doing things deployment is another aspect that changed uh, so now um, 
in pm based uh, deployment uh, to sandbox servers is what is uh, supported and what is being done so there are some uh, uh, scripts already which come uh, packaged as part of your uh, uh, core store as you can see um, um, and also the way the cartridges are assembled is another key aspect of uh, your whole uh, um, e-commerce design i would say uh, you're no longer touching a code uh, you know um, in the core code base so the way you have to assemble these cartridges matters a lot like if you have a couple of payment providers and uh, they are all uh, overriding some similar methods you really need to plan and uh, order this cartridge or the methods in a very uh, schematic way so developing on sfra is is again like a again a new skill set that hardly anyone is familiar with um, and for brands who are looking to get an early lead and transition to sfra sooner or later you would need to definitely enlist an experienced partner uh, that's where i can i would say you know or all cyber can help you and um, uh, so what does all cyber do that can definitely help you with this so I'll, any, um, we usually start off with uh, you know an assessment of your e-commerce um, application we conduct uh, a two to three um, uh, week on-site workshop where one of our sme and the business analyst would meet with all the stakeholders gather requirements and prepare a business requirement of and you know or bre um, based on the need other deliverables also out of this workshop could be a fit gap analysis uh, and sometimes you may maybe a high level design document so we are, uh, so the initial assessment itself you're you're already starting to uh, jump some things out uh, from world cyber <clears throat> being in the e-commerce space for more than a decade uh, royal cyber has built an ecosystem consisting of numerous accelerators for e-commerce platforms uh, as shown above be it payment integration or marketplace uh, calls cyber has speed expertise in that and we already have some uh, you know, built-in capabilities uh, we have some already production delivered capabilities on other e-commerce platforms and we're doing the same on Salesforce commerce cloud as well. One such thing that I would like to discuss uh, briefly is about, uh, uh, you know, some of the super, what we call as a super accelerator. Uh, um, we have built a custom search uh, capabilities integrating with uh, Search Spring. Um, it's a very lightweight yet powerful kind of search engine. Um, uh, one of my counterpart would be uh, hosting another webinar on the, to discuss more on this. I'll just give a, a brief introduce. So, um, also we also has similar solutions for headless commerce, science and analytics, uh, chatbot, and you know DevOps. So we do a lot of work in you know with respect to headless commerce or uh, DevOps and our other e-commerce platforms as well, and we are extending all these capabilities to. Salesforce Commerce Cloud as well. Uh, uh, one more thing which I wanted to uh, um, uh, uh, discuss was about um, uh, the uh, in the headless commerce space, uh, Earl Cyber has an accelerator integrating with uh, First Spirit CMS. The team is also building other add-ons to the store, such as uh, you know, such as as you can see in above in the slide. Um, like the uh, um, mobile application can be built uh, uh, using one of our uh, CMS. We have chatbot and social platforms also uh, getting integrated with this uh, headless application. We also have headless applications on Angular based storefront, uh, Drupal, etc., for other e commerce platforms as well. At this point, I would uh, 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 try to, like to show you a quick demo of uh, the custom store which Rolls Cyber has built in. Um, so, um, uh, this is one of the, um, store, uh, which, uh, which all cyber, uh, published on the Salesforce, uh, reference architecture, and we added a layer of our custom look and feel, uh, as you can see, uh, um, uh, you know, some of these, um, um, aspects about when you hover on the product or on the feature products or on categories, uh, it kind of highlights, and then, uh, we have, a uh, uh, the wish list feature has been added out of the box for this. Uh, this is actually an add on in the Salesforce reference architecture. Um, this is also a, a responsive, uh, a fully responsive site. And I, I, I'll briefly walk you through a, a shopping experience through this. So, 
like to go buy some jacket for myself and So we also added a, a kind of a compare feature um, uh, in this. Um, um, so which kind of gets added here. And this was again a, a small custom feature which uh, our server has added. Um, so I'll go to the PDP page. And this is what I was talking about earlier about the way the uh, add to cart is always on the screen so that the customer is kind of enticed to go uh, continue with the uh, checkout action. I have to select the size. And there you go. That to card gets enabled and it's kind of always predominantly available on the screen. So I'll add it to the cart and It's another addition which comes, uh, which was basically an out of the box SFRI feature, which we have also retained on our custom uh, uh, store. Uh, the checkout uh, being a, a sticky action. So once we are in the cart, uh, I would like to check this out. And this is the login screen. I already have a user registered, so I'll just continue with that. Um, so this is the actual checkout page. Uh, you see how uh, simple and uh, uh, neat this is. Uh, the payment. The payment is actually also another section right here. Actually, if you are on the on an iPod iPad mode, you would see that right by yourself and. Summary and so throughout the checkout as well as you can see this it was a fully responsive uh, layout and the uh, design is pretty uh, they try to keep it simple and neat um uh yep that um that brings me uh to the end of the demo and uh thank you uh thank you everyone